Hi, I'm Zaina, and this is my husband, Chad. We've been traveling the U.S. for over two years now in our self-built tiny home on wheels with our two cats. Recently, we found out we're bringing one more on board. Stay tuned and subscribe if you want to join the adventure. Good morning. Welcome to another Living Zeal video. For our eagle-eyed viewers, you may notice we are not in a bus. Uh, we are in our current sanctuary here at Zaina's mom's house. We'll tell you all about what's going on with the bus later in the video. Um, but for now, it's one of those beautiful days outside, kind of in between summer and fall, where it's just perfect. So we're going to go on our favorite hike here in Fort Collins. Um, but I actually stored my acoustic guitar here super beat up acoustic guitar old john mcclain refuses to die i stored it here before we went to hawaii so i haven't played my acoustic guitar in a long time and i have been really enjoying kind of jamming out on it so i'm going to play you guys into the next scene You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> well then this is officially the first hike out of probably like 200 hikes we've been on. Ever. Ever. That we've never, that we didn't finish. Pregnancy changed me. Changed her. She would have never not finished a hike before, but. No. Well, we don't want to disappoint you guys. So here's some footage from when we did this hike um, like two years ago. It's just for you guys. It's pretty. Sunset. Look how young we look. I was just telling Chad how I can't imagine being any more pregnant than I am right now. I'm only four months. And I literally cannot fathom getting bigger than this. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. I'm super hungry. Alright, well, we're probably about a mile and a half up this mountain. Yeah, if you go all the way back down, I keep yawning. Something, if any of you guys have any recommendations, when you get to 20 weeks, you're not allowed to lay on your back anymore, which is the only way I sleep. I do not sleep on my sides. It's so uncomfortable, it like hurts my neck to lay on my side. So if any of you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. Cause I did not sleep very well. Cause I was tossing and turning, trying to, trying to sleep on my side and I didn't sleep very well. I don't know. All right, so what do you really want to eat? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. And maybe a burrito. <laughs> you want some vegan chocolate cake and a burrito. Mm -hmm. Mama gets what mama wants, so. That sounds really. Let's go get you some chocolate cake in, a, in that order. Probably a burrito first, then we and can then share chocolate cake. chocolate cake. I've actually been thinking a lot about chocolate cake because my birthday is coming up in like two weeks. And I was thinking what kind of cake I want to make myself, which might sound weird. I've had people to offer to make me cakes, but there's this one chocolate cake with peanut butter icing that is like just the best ever and I want to figure out how to make it vegan. So I've been dreaming about cake for a while now. Well, let's go get you what you need. Okay. Okay. I do need it, it's true. All right, well, let's hustle down the mountain. Okay. Ugh. predictable but I tell you these burritos are insane and I always say I think that burritos might be like my number one favorite food ever favorite ingredient though potatoes favorite meal burritos what do you think baby yeah that sounds pretty pretty accurate so while we're out we're gonna stop and get tabby a little bit of wet food we talked about this kind of loud we talked about this in our podcast for patrons um, that we just uploaded this past week, but one of our cats, Tavi, has not been feeling well. She had worms and we gave her deworming medication, but she still needs to gain a pretty significant amount of weight to be back to where she was at. 
So we just want to get her some wet food so that she yeah, I used to see eats and gets a little more excited about eating because wet food's kind of a treat for her. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find it. Um, this is a pretty big decision. Slice of... That's so much frosting though. Uh, oh super gosh. frosted, super delicious vegan chocolate cake or a whole entire vegan chocolate cake that's like, not frosted. Is there frosting behind it? Maybe there is. Oh yeah, there is. There's something Pretty behind cool. it. Yeah, it's frosted. It just has crumb. Let's get this one. Are you going to be able to... Yeah, because I'll have some of it with okay. you. This is probably going to be really expensive. It's $7. Um, it's on the back of the thing, hon. Okay. Yeah. I'll just take one more glance. It's a big decision. Mm -hmm. All right, got the cake. We decided to go with the whole cake. That was right. Why not? Um, but tonight, Zena's leaving me. She's yeah. going all the way to Denver. I'll bring you guys with me, but Chad's gonna be left at the house by himself. Yeah, so I have to fend for myself for dinner tonight. So we're gonna go try and find some like Amy's organic soup or something. And, uh, burrito maybe. Burrito maybe. Whatever sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. The interior is a mousse, the exterior is a cake, and then there's layers of frosting. Focus is extra struggling today. Vegan chocolate cake. They said it could never be done. It's amazing. Okay, after like an hour long drive, I just got to my friend Ashley's house in Thornton, Colorado, which is right outside of Denver. There's actually a really pretty view of the city line straight from this road, which is pretty cute. But I haven't seen Ashley in a long time. So I'm gonna go say hello and then I'll show you guys around, hopefully, if that's okay with her. All right, so we've been here for- oh, It's on? Yeah, it's been oh recording the whole time. <laughs> Jed will get all of that. Okay, I've been here for a couple hours now. We've just been catching up on life, all of the good stuff. Um, and now my love is calling me, so I should probably go. I'll see you guys in the car. <laughs> you have a fun trip to your friends? Yeah, it was super fun. Oh my goodness. I yes. know, it's pretty late now. Yeah, it was super fun. I'm glad to be home, because I'm glad to be with my people, but it was nice to be able to chat and hang out and yeah. have some girl time. Well, we're pretty tired. You catch them in the morning? So, we're gonna catch you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, friends. Um, Zena's actually out in the kitchen cooking up some breakfast right now. We'll see what she's doing, what she's making. It's nothing for the cookbook or anything. She doesn't know I'm recording, so. Crazy hair. Listen to the cereal. These are all people who know Brian Radigan. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, yes. Yeah, so such was their the disbelief that. Isn't our oat look, oats look delicious? They do look delicious. This is just oats with some berries and hemp seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And then I'm just putting a little bit of yogurt on top. Boom. It's actually really, really good. And it's like very hearty. It is. <laughs> this is uh, three quarter cups of oats for each of us, which might be too much, but. That's a lot of oatmeal. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, I did a cup and then I was like, a cup is, half cup is not enough for me. I've done that before, that's not enough. Yeah, we'll see how far we can get. You can get, you finished it, Boo Boo. You can get far. All right. You can do it, I promise. I can do it. Should we go sit outside? Mm hmm All right. I think he's out there. Super yummy. Mm hmm mm. Oats, such an amazing breakfast. Mm. Definitely in the fall, in the summer, Especially in the bus. Not great. Not great. <laughs> Give me an update on the bus real quick, guys. So, it's still parked over at our uh, dear friend's house. And we plan on taking it to the mechanic on the 26th. So I think it's tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna record a video. and show you guys what's what. Mm -hmm. We don't really know what's wrong with it. It, uh, it had a small oil leak that's become a massive oil leak. Check engine lights come on and it doesn't want to go like over 50 miles an hour and it yeah. smokes sometimes so all bad signs mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> but fingers crossed it's okay whatever happens mm -hmm. we'll deal with it you know this is just part of the lifestyle and you know obviously we would love to just be on the road making travel content for you guys but you know that we really keep it real and the reality of the situation is this is our situation I mean the real reality also is that Zane is getting more pregnant every day Apparently this thing doesn't stop growing so until weird. it comes out. Mm -hmm. So, which is like, I know I'm not that pregnant, but I already feel so pregnant, pregnant, which is 
crazy. So it's actually been really nice being able to stay in the house um, yeah. and have the luxuries and not have to worry about. And I've been time. eating so well, which has been really nice because, I mean, we eat really well in the bus too, but I think that sometimes I might be like a little bit more hesitant to make a whole meal just because I didn't want to do the dishes. Whereas being in a house, it's just been like a little bit, I don't know, easier for me to eat more frequently because dishes are simple and yeah, yeah just been a little bit easier. Yeah, we're just going to see what happens with the bus and then we'll let you guys know. Yep. Our next baby appointment isn't until like the 16th or 16th mm -hmm. of October. It's the day after Zayna's birthday. It's so like two and um, a half weeks away. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that, obviously. Yeah. I think we're just gonna start crushing out the day, working on the cookbooks. I'm probably gonna be editing this video up. Yeah, we're finally getting nearing the end of the cookbook, which is just like, it feels so good. We've been putting a lot into this project. Massive project. And, yeah. I mean, it's it sounds like a lot when you mention it, when you say it to yourself, but it, it, when you actually start going through the steps, it's like, oh my goodness. It's a lot. This is a lot. But yeah. it's so fun. I'm yeah. loving it so much. Um, it's been really great to be able to be at my mom's house. The cats have been loving to have, like Akina pretty much hangs out outside here in the backyard all day long. She loves it. Hunts um, grasshoppers. Yeah, so it's been kind of nice to be able to catch our breath a little bit and regroup and, you know, get prepared for whatever the verdict is with the bus. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely nice regrouping because the bus wasn't finished. Mm -hmm. So we really didn't have the water. I feel like every time I fix something on the water, um, something else would break. Like, surprise, surprise, I'm not a plumber. And mm -hmm. I really don't know much about, other than like what I've seen on YouTube, about doing plumbing for these conversions. So yeah. like, uh, every time I'd fix something, a leak would spring up somewhere else. So we never really had running water. Um, that was the biggest thing I think we had to live without that's really nice to have here. Running water, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right gang. Well, I think we're gonna eat our breakfast and get out of here, but we'll catch you guys next video. Yeah. Don't forget to, to hit the bell if you want notifications when our new videos come out. Obviously subscribe, that's the first step. Um, if you've been following us for a while, you should probably look into being a patron. Um, the link is below in the description box. We have a ton of content that's available to our patrons for just one dollar. Uh, you get like all of our podcasts. We have some old behind the scenes blooper videos. Mm -hmm. Just a whole bunch of stuff on our Patreon page now. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna head out. We love you guys and uh, live zealously. We'll see you next time, guys. Find that zeal. <laughs> I just realized that I actually know nothing about Fort Collins. You wanna learn? Is there an actual fort here? I think there was. During one war. During one, one of the wars. <laughs> I'm not sure. Whew. I'll have to ask my stepdad about we're, that. We're gonna be great teachers. Yeah. Super big bummer though, is I brought the drone and got almost all the way to the top and realized that we forgot an SD card. So that's a bummer. Check everywhere for snakes now. Nerds is a new hip. Artificial intelligence and stuff. Right? It's because yeah, technology has taken over the world, so everyone's like, oh wow, the nerds knew all along. So we decided we were gonna go get a quick burrito. Um, we might Can you guys guess where? Yeah. <laughs> Comment down below. Uh, we might skip the chocolate cake, but what? burrito. Why are we know. skipping your chocolate cake? Where are we gonna get it? I thought you knew a place. Maybe Whole Foods? Do they have chocolate cake, vegan chocolate cake there? Probably. We'll look into it. That it's would really be amazing. Great. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, we're getting you your chocolate cake. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a lot of good stuff in this. Mm -hmm. Three seed. Look at that fine edge. Good tons of water, tons of protein, tons of omega 3s and omega 6s. You get vitamin C, you get antioxidants from the berry. It's got a gelatinous quality because of the uh Because I mixed it in. Mm-hmm.